The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tech Gig webinar series, our endeavor to empower techies. We believe that sharing of knowledge is the key to enhance our skills and grow us as professionals. With this principle in mind, we have initiated a series of webinars conducted by industry experts to give you all a crisp insight of various domains. The topic of today's session is creating innovative business models. Our guest speaker today is Arun Saxena. He is presently a board member at Institute of Product Leadership, Bangalore, and chief mentor at Insights and Directions, a coaching and consulting firm based at Hyderabad. He mentors startups and consults with IT services and software product companies in the area innovation and strategy. Also, teaches at the leading B schools in the area of product planning and strategy, product innovation and design, business and process agility, IT strategy, and soft skills. Prior to this, Arun headed the program management excellence practice at Microsoft India. His job involved keeping product development teams at the leading edge of engineering practices for designing winning software products. Before joining Microsoft, he was CEO of Ashtech Systems, a leading software product and IT services company. Starting from scratch, he grew the company to $30 million revenue in the year 2000 with presence in India, Middle East, Europe, and USA. The company developed software components and stacks for leading software vendors. Before his entrepreneurial career at Ashtech, he worked for eight years as a systems engineer at Tata Burroughs Limited, a Tata Group company. At TBL, he worked globally developing information systems for global corporations in the e area of manufacturing, finance, and public utilities. He's a recreational golfer and an early stage investor. So, without further delay, I introduce you all to our guest speaker. Over to you, Arun. Thank you, uh, Aradna. Uh, good evening, uh, folks, and it's really nice to be here with you guys at uh, Tech Gig. Uh, and it's really very uh, motivating to me that uh, uh, techies like you uh, on this on this webinar uh, would be interested in business models, uh, which is so far removed from your typical day job. Uh, indeed, uh, business models today crop up frequently in business conversations. Whether you are a startup pitching to a VC or you are an entrepreneur discussing with your business partners or it's a top executive discussing how to grow and beat the competition business competition. Business model is center stage. For example, there has been a lot of buzz in recent times about Groupon's business model. Uh, all of you know that Groupon uh, uh, did an IPO two years back uh, and uh, at that time they spurned a Google offer of $6 billion. Groupon has over the last two years crashed from $17 billion valuation to just under $2.5 billion valuation. And there are a lot of fingers being raised on their business model. Now, it, as it appears, their business model is not very scalable because it depends so much on the armies of salespeople in every geography they operate in. That is a problem every service company faces. So, uh, uh, business models are really important and uh, if not today, they may come and haunt you in future in the middle of when you're growing. Give you an example. In 2003, Apple introduced the iPod and the iTunes stores, revolutionizing portable entertainment, creating a new market and transforming the company. In just three years, the iPod iTunes combination became a nearly 10 billion product, accounting for almost 50% of Apple's revenue. Apple's market cap catapulted from $1 billion in early 2003 to $150 billion by late 2007. This success story is well known. What's less well known is that Apple was not the first to bring digital music players to the market. There were so many of them floating in the market. You know, a lot of non-branded non generic ones and the few branded ones like Rio which came in 1998 there was something called Cabo 64 which came in in 2000. All these products worked well 
and many of them were portable and stylish. But why did the iPod rather than all these others succeed? That's the question. Now what Apple did something was far smarter than just take a good technology and wrap it into a snazzy design. It took a good technology and wrapped it in a great business model. Apple's true innovation was to make downloading digital music easy and convenient. To do that, the company built a groundbreaking business model that combined hardware, software, and service. This approach worked like Gillette's famous blades and razors model if you are aware of. Apple essentially gave away the blades, that is the low margin iTunes music, to lock in purchase of the razor, which is the high margin iPod. That model defined value in a new way and provided game changing convenience to the consumer. Yet, the stories of business model innovation like Apple, iPod and iTunes are rare, though everybody seems to be talking about it. Several surveys have reported that over 50% of the CEOs worldwide believe that times have come uh, when business model innovation will be more important for success than product or service innovation itself. This means we understand business models well and use them to compete in the market. So what, what is a business model? 